What is up guys, Alex here. Here I have the brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. In this video, I'll be reviewing this phone, talking about its specs, if it's worth it, and if you should get it. Again, this is going to be a really quick video, quick and simple, and I'm going to do it to be do a real review on how I feel about this phone. I've had the phone for a couple of days now, I've been using it, I've been taking pictures with the front and back cameras, and I'm just going to tell you guys if you should get the phone for the price or if you should not, you should not get it at all. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on into the video. Alright, so first things first with this Z Flip 4 is the design. Personally, I like the direction that they went with this. The last one I really saw was the Z Flip 1. Other than that, I haven't really been paying attention to the um to the Flip franchise, aside from the one that folds into a tablet, which I did with my last video's upload, which is the review that I posted on it. But for this one, I do like the design. The design looks pretty nice. It is nice and sleek. It is matte black so it does nice fit into your hand and it doesn't be it doesn't slide around the only part that attracts a lot of fingerprints is the top part that has the camera housing in it but as you guys may know that part also holds the screen and now as you guys may know i saw a little bit of uh, videos on our saw the samsung galaxy z flip 3 and that phone's back was glossy this one is matte so it's easier for you to hold it into the hands and for you to hold it and stuff like that and it's, it doesn't just slide around your arm and stuff like that but like i said it looks pretty nice i do like the design you have a fingerprint turn on button so like i said you can just turn the phone on and it'll automatically be the fingerprint and again it's super nice and fast the fingerprint works also really fast and that phone mechanic is really nice and satisfying when you open and close the phone it almost makes it feel like a flip phone from back in the day and but it's just a lot better they also made the edges more square and sharper the older ones from the c flip 3 were more rounder these ones are more square kind of like the new iphones they're more square so it just looks overall a ton better and that's a big plus for the samsung galaxy c flip 4. the screen for this z flip 4 is a super amblet screen so when you guys hold the phone yourselves and you see it in person because the camera will not do it justice the scan the camera or the screen on this on this phone looks very very good and it doesn't look bad at all and the screen also has 426 of ppi density and about 1200 nits of brightness so the phone is also pretty bright and the screen just looks really nice that's a perfect combo for a screen that i would like personally and you can go up to 120 hertz on that display as well so again it's not a bad screen and now remember when you go to 120 hertz that battery is of course going to die faster and this phone only has has a 3,700 milliamp hour battery. So again, it's not the biggest battery in the world, but when you use it at 120 hertz, it's going to die fast, very fast if you play games. If you have it on 120 hertz and you're not playing games and you're just scrolling through Instagram or reading messages, then yeah, I would keep it at 120 hertz. But if you're playing games like Fortnite, most games on phones can only go up to 60 frames. I would recommend putting it down to 60 FPS and just playing the games at 60 hertz for the screen. No more or no less because then it's going to look too janky or too laggy. But 120 hertz is not bad. And I also feel like that's becoming the norm when you phones nowadays. That all of these phones are having 120 hertz now the screen on this phone is also hdr 10 plus so again one of the like, pretty high rated just like the samsung galaxy z fold 4 that i reviewed yesterday also had hdr 10 plus this one also had hdr 10 plus so it doesn't look bad at all and you get a pretty good rated screen and it's a super amoled screen so it doesn't look bad the vessels are not bad either and you come with a screen protector or not a screen protector a pre applied one it feels like it but you do not want to remove that because you remove that when the, when the phone is going to start lagging because that screen protector that it has that's part of the screen and if you remove that or try to remove that you're pretty much removing the screen at that point just like the first problem i'm pretty sure they fixed it right uh, but if you guys remember the first flippable phone they had that screen protector and some youtubers removed it and when they removed it the screen started glitching out and started turning black because that was the screen they were taking apart or they were taking off because the screen is very soft and very sensitive because it has to be foldable this is why the screen protector is corn and gorilla glass or not the screen protector but the screen is corn and gorilla glass victus plus again it is nice super sturdy it doesn't take up any scratches it does take a lot of fingerprints as a fingerprint fingerprint magnet so you, you will be cleaning the screen from time to time but other than that the screen looks nice and and good it looks pretty 
good as you guys can see right here it looks nice a lot of fingerprints on it though so you you have to clean it from time to time to get rid of all those fingerprints but keep in mind that crease will get progressively and progressively bigger the more that you use the phone so just keep that in mind when you buy the c flip 4 for me i would get warranty for it and then return it after like a year once the crease starts getting really really bad and you it, it just sticks over the phone pretty much and the front screen is also pretty nice it tells you the time the date and the battery that your phone is at and i'm pretty sure you can also set it up with widgets so you get notifications from like instagram snapchat you can get probably other notifications from game as well too um it's not bad at all like imagine just having a phone like this it's just like having a, a smartphone wallet i don't know how to explain it but it's nice and it feels nice as well we're having the cameras there too and i'm pretty sure you can also take pictures from this screen as well if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure for an older version of the c flip you could have done that you could take a picture from the front using the back cameras but that kind of defeats the whole purpose of the frontal screen of the frontal camera if anybody could just do that but again to, i'm correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure you could have done that for other z flips if i'm not mistaken but this one looks very nice and again that closing mechanic it, the magnets it feels very satisfying to open and close but when you do buy this phone just remember the crease in the middle is going to get progressively and progressively bigger and worse to look at the phone over time so yeah so now the cameras for this z flip 4 now this z flip 4 has a dual camera system on the back and with this dual camera system you can take pictures at 12 megapixels in wide angle or ultra wide angle mode so if you want to take an ultra wide angle shot or just a regular wide angle shot you can do that if you're a person who likes to take a lot of pictures and what is also cool that is that you're able to take pictures with the two back cameras with the little screen you have here so again if you have the phone unlocked you can just do it and then you can take pictures like that a little screen on the side that shows you that picture that you're going to take frontal camera is a 10 megapixel wide camera so and both all three of these cameras the front and the two back cameras on the back are able to record at 4k 60 fps so again not a bad set of cameras i was expecting more megapixels from samsung but like i said this is sort of like a mid-range to top range phone sort of in the middle between those two branches um so the phone i was expecting maybe like maybe 38 megapixels some maybe even 42 you have phones like the uh, a51 that have 42 megapixel cameras but i feel like they probably did something to the software or to the version of android that sort of fixed the cameras and that uh enhances the cameras more and more or the pictures that you take so it enhances the pictures that you take with this so i feel like it's going to look really good and that frontal camera also probably looks really good so yeah, if you're a person that likes to take a lot of photos you can even take a photo with the phone being closed so you don't have to fully open the phone for you to take a photo and i think that's really cool um because sometimes people just don't want to show other people the photos that they have their privacy something like that so overall i do like these cameras um they do not look bad at all and i do like the design of how samsung placed them on this phone overall this phone doesn't look bad at all um i really like it i feel like it looks really really good um the frontal camera has been the design that samsung has been cho has been choosing for the past couple of phones for a really long time now is either at the top or in the corner of the screen and it looks really really good in my opinion and paired with the screen and how the way and the way that the screen looks where the screen just looks nice and good i feel like it's a pretty good combination for being able to take decent photos and i'm pretty sure you can you can also take the photos with the phone being folded folded like this so again it, it is nice and it makes sort of having this foldable feature for for a phone um sort of even more worth it now since you can take pictures with the back cameras instead of the front cameras while the phone being close so you can take a picture like this and I'm, i don't think you can record though and i can only think you can take pictures and if you're going to record i'm pretty sure you're going to only record like if it was a selfie mode type of style of recording but yeah let's move on to the rest of the video now the internal specs of the phone so now this phone has a gpu of an adrenal 730 same as the other flip that i reviewed yesterday it's pretty good it's not bad you can definitely run all the games that you want in it you can run fortnite pubg mobile free fire you can run all the games that you want you can run rock league side swipe if you play that you can run Brawlhalla if you play that you can run uh, Asphalt 9 Legends if you're on the at a pretty good quality again the phone does not look bad at all and the screen also complements the games very well just again it's not the best you could have gotten there are more like as you can say more 
like higher level GPUs and CPUs that this phone could have gotten. But I like this is sort of like a mid top range phone. I like that it doesn't feel too bad and the phone feels like it's just the right size for it being able to flip. It does get a little bit heavier when you flip fold the phone but when it's unfolded the phone just feels just like the right weight amount and once you get used to it you're not gonna like feel it as much but it feels really really nice in your hands when you hold the phone and the adrenal 730 can run all the games that you want and it's paired with a snapdragon 8 plus which is a four nanometer cpu so it's not the best gpu but it's a mid top range phone it's not it's not a flagship from samsung but it's definitely up there the as a usable smartphone for you to play games run apps or on instagram watch videos watch netflix whatever the case may be you can do it with the cpu and the gpu i had no problems when i was playing fortnite i had no problems when i was playing as Night legends the games were in nice and smooth uh, with that screen as well and it's paired pretty well because the screen is nice and big when you hold it um to play the games and they had no lag whatsoever and i'm pretty sure with this phone as well you can run fortnite and 60 fps if you guys know fortnite is a nice graphically driven game so this phone can run it as well as the other samsung phones so again it is not bad at all it's a mid range to top range phone from samsung it's not a flagship but it's definitely up there with some of their other phones now the storage that the phone has is you can get it from 125 gig 128 gigabytes to 256 gigabytes or 512 with the other z flip you can only get it from all the way up to a terabyte so a little bit of a downgrade but for me personally i'm only going to be using around 128 gigabytes before i run out of storage but that's because i'm a different user than everybody else everybody's different you may be a person who takes a lot of videos and a lot of pictures and gets sent a lot of videos and a lot of pictures from family members and friends and you like to save them so if you're that type of person that likes to save a lot of videos and likes to save a lot of movies and download a lot of movies then you're gonna probably gonna want the 512 gigabyte version of the phone and if you have the budget to get it then get it because that way you don't have to worry about you know what I'm saying, you, the phone or having too much or less storage than when you get it. If you get the 128, then you're gonna have to start worrying about how many apps you can download and stuff like that. But if you get the 512 gigabyte one, then you don't really have to worry about that because of 512 gigabytes. Now the RAM, this phone comes with eight gigabytes of RAM. No more, no less. I'm pretty sure no matter which version you get it, you're always gonna get eight gigabytes of RAM. And eight gigabytes of RAM is fine. It's not as good as other phones, but it, like I said, it can run all the games it can run the games with tabs open with no lag it can run the games with even more other apps open with no lag like i said i tested it over fortnite and fortnite had no lag and i was i'm pretty sure you're able to run it as well at 60 fps like you can with some other phones so again no lag from this phone which is very nice and impressive and again it looks overall really really good now like i said eight gigabytes of ram is pretty good for this phone you can run all the games you can run fortnite as fortnite legends pubg mobile with no lag and you can have multiple tabs open as well with no lag again it is really nice i like it i feel like it's sort of like the best combination like peanut butter and jelly pretty much they fit nice and well together with this phone because keep in mind this is a foldable phone it's not like you're gonna get the highest specs like if you get with a note 20 or something you get what you know so i feel like with this phone you get like a mid mid range and a top range phone so it's not the worst i've seen but you could definitely get better with other phones but i feel like this phone is sort of like for bragging rights that you're able to fold open and you're able to fold close the screen now this phone is ipx8 water rated again stay tuned for the water test that i'm going to upload soon as well this phone has the ipx water resistant rating it is able to go 1.5 meters underwater for 30 minutes so in case you drop it in the sink or in the tub make sure you pick it right up or otherwise you have 30 minutes before the phone starts like actually glitching and starts giving you some problems and it's water resistant with the phone closed and open in case you were wondering so even with the phone open it's water resisted and if the phone is closed or you know what i'm saying collapsed i don't know how to explain it but it'll also be water resisted so again i did that text test both times while it was closed and it was open so just stay tuned for that i'm going to be uploading that as well so yeah if you drop it at the pool or in the sink if you're washing the dishes or and when you're brushing your teeth you're watching a video or something like that whatever the case may be just pick it right up because then the speaker starts glitching out a little bit but the phone is ipx water resistant leave it to samsung to give us a good water ip rating so that, yeah this ipx water resistant so again if you drop it just keep in mind to pick it up or your speakers 
videos are gonna start to fail a little bit and that pretty much happens with all other ratings it doesn't just happen with ipx8 so yeah again pretty good water resistance stay tuned for that video it's gonna be a full in-depth water testing video the battery of this one is a 3700 megapixel or milliamp hour battery i said megapixels but it's a 3700 a 3700 milliamp hour battery so again not the best but not the worst i've seen better the phone that i have personally has 4700 milliamp hour battery milliamp so again it is a little bit better than the one that this phone has but most of the time you use this phone depending on the type of user you are the phone is probably going to be folded because most of the time when i use my phone i just use to check the time and on the screen in the front that's where you have the time as you guys can see the time the percentage and the date on the front but if you're a hardcore gamer 3700 uh, milliamp hour battery is probably not going to be the best battery you can get but it's definitely going to be up there in terms of uh lasting i've been using it pretty much a whole day and the phone is so far at 58 percent so yeah and it's about 2 p.m right now so i've been using it for the whole day and i woke up around seven i've been watching videos and i even played a bit of, a little bit of asphalt nine and the phone only got to 58 percent so again is a pretty underwhelming but if you're at home you can always just charge the phone but it, and it comes with a pretty sad pretty fast charger it comes with a 25 watt charger that charges the phone up to 50 percent in 30 minutes you can also wirelessly charge it with a wireless charging pad and, and that can charge up to 15 watts so again it's not the best wireless charging when you put it but i guess wireless charging is better if you're in a rush in the morning you just pick your phone up and you don't have to disconnect it i guess it'll save you a couple of seconds but i wouldn't recommend anybody wirelessly charging it because when you wireless charge it um it is way slower and it could take a long time um so I, at that point i would just connect it to the phone itself and you can also reverse wireless charging you guys have reached the end of this video overall opinions on this phone out of 10 i give it about a 7.5 out of 10 on this samsung galaxy z flip phone it is not the best it doesn't have the best specs but it again it is a mid-range phone and you're pretty much getting it for that feature of the screen being able to fold open and fold close it depends this phone totally depends on the person that you are if for me i give it a 7.5 out of 10 i wouldn't use it myself as my daily driver but i could definitely see some other people using this phone as a daily driver me personally i wouldn't use it um but yeah this video is was pretty fun to make i'm not gonna lie this phone is a delight i do like the screen it is plugged by corner and gorilla glass victus plus and it is a 1080 by 24 60 26 40 pixel screen so it doesn't look bad at all and i'm pretty sure it's also a dynamic amoled screen so it doesn't look bad but i wouldn't get this phone but let me know if you guys will get this phone but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i'll see you guys in the next one peace out